Are you planning on upgrading your Android smartphone to something new such as a Z Fold 5 or the Z Flip 5, but you're worried about your data? How do you transfer it? How do you back up? How do you do a seamless transition to the new phone? Well, we're going to cover that in four simple steps. Before we get started, if you want to know how to back up your iPhone before you upgrade to the newer one, click here at the end of this video. I'll have a video set up here for you. These four steps could be used on any Android device, such as the smartphones or even the tablets. We're going to start off with what I got here in front of me, which is the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Surface Duo 1. And we're going to start right now. First step, open up settings. Very simple. Second step, you want to make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on. You want to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. That way you don't get charged for data, such as if you're on your cellular service. It could cost you and it'll go a little slower. So just make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. And then on the left side, you just want to scroll down to where it says Google and Google services right there. You can see it in the center of the deal. Click on Google services. It opens up. Then on this side, you can see here it has your data on it and then backup. All you do from here is step four, click on backup. And then it'll start backing up once you hit backup now. If your device hasn't been backed up before, then it won't say backup now, but it'll ask you if you want to turn it on. And I'll show you that on the Surface Duo. So some things that you need to know about backup. When it backs up, it backs up your apps. It backs up your SMS, your text messages, MMS. Didn't used to be that way. You had to figure out how to save them and transfer them over to the new phone a different way. But now through Google, it backs those up. Your call history, your device settings, such as your home page where all your apps are. It's really nice. And then your Google accounts, such as your contacts and your calendar updates and all that stuff. They all get backed up. So basically, when you restore it on another phone, everything is just like the way you left it. So that's really nice. Now, as far as photos and videos, you can see I kind of skipped over that there. Photos and videos have to be done through Google Photos. Now let's move over to the Surface Duo and show you what it's like setting up for the first time on a device. So on the Surface Duo, basically it's the same exact thing. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it and we're just gonna do everything on the one side. So then this is very similar to your bar phone. That way you get a taste of each, a fold, and a bar phone. So simply, first step, open up settings. Second step, you wanna make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on. On this device, it is turned on because I just use it as a secondary device and it only uses Wi-Fi. And then you wanna scroll down just like you did on the other one, if you remember. You scroll down, stay, stay put please. You scroll down to where it says Google and you open up Google services and preferences and on this one same thing got your account information there and then go to backup once you click backup on a device you haven't done it before you'll get this page this page says turn on backup i happen to use uh, 200 gigabytes of space is what i purchase on my account you can purchase additional space and i'll go over that here in a few minutes so all you do is you just turn it on and then once you turn it on, it'll automatically back up when you're on Wi-Fi. And then you just click back up now. And then it'll back up when it's not being used for two hours and it's connected to power. So that you don't have to worry about draining your battery or it taking a long time because you have it connected to Wi-Fi. Very simple. Now on Google, you get 15 gigabytes of free storage. So you store whatever you want whether it's um, photos, files, whatever. You use Google Drive to do that if you want to do files, and that would be another video. So 15 gigabytes free. If you want to purchase more, I use, two, I use 200 gigabytes. That way I can actually store more before I transfer it over. So basically, if you stay with 15 gigabytes of data or storage for the photos on your phone, you can go out on a trip and you can take a bunch of different photos and videos. And when you get home, you want to transfer that 15 gigs to another device, a hard drive at home or a backup service that you have at home. And then you're covered. Now, if you want a little more security, you want a little more space, then you would upgrade to 
a larger storage, which is I have 200 for 299 a month. That's not bad. Something else to, to know about Google Photos is you can actually store unlimited amount of photos if you let it downgrade to 1080p on your photos. If you don't need the highest quality photos, they give you free storage unlimited. If you learned something from this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I'd be happy to make other videos if there's some things that you would like me to show you as well. If you haven't backed up your device support, you've got to try it. Have a great day. God bless.